whoever recommended me this anime and voted for it god bless you guys yo i am okay no disrespect to bunny girl senpai i enjoyed the show the show is objectively good but god damn i am fucking tired of these melodramatic shows you guys trying to make me fucking cry watching fucking depressing stories I'm not trying to watch anime to be depressed. If I wanted to be depressed, i go look at my fucking bank account. If I wanted to be depressed, i look at how much fucking I owe for student loans. If I wanted to be depressed, i go look at my fucking YouTube analytics and it's gonna tell me 20 different fucking reaction channels that's doing a hundred times better than me. I'm watching anime to get away from shit like that. And goddamn, what better way is there to watch some generic, cliche, battle, high school anime. Oh, I eat that shit up the moment he went. Come in Tetsu. I was like, bro, I'm done. I'm done. These transformation scenes, oh, so good. Same with Stella summoning her sword, but I can I can pretty much tell that everyone's gonna have their own special sword stuff, right? Now, our main character, pretty based. Stella, also pretty based. Quite a sin today, but hey, I think we made some progress. I'm sure we're gonna get a more waifus because this might be a harm. I don't know. Let the tournaments begin though. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> She works hard. It's like a theme that's been reiterated last episode, right? She doesn't want other people looking down on her just because she's talented and gifted. She works just as hard. <laughs> Yo, indirect kiss in Jap Japan and just anime, you know, that's like, it's always just a thing, huh? Oh. She getting quite dead already? Oh, holy shit. We might, I mean, sometimes there's a lot of like, like, um, what, what's it called? They stall with the ship, right? Oh, sister. That intro girl must be the sister. What? <laughs> she's got him, she's just dead. <laughs> have, have, okay. But even if it's full-blooded, they might go full Alabama. I don't know, man. She sounds like the teacher that would have eye bags like that. Doesn't Reine from Data Life kind of sound like that too? It must be like a specific character type who just permanently tired. Yeah. She looks exhausted. Okay, this is like the prelims. We gotta pick out who from our academy can compete with the different academies. And it's been told that our academy kind of sucks, right? Oh. Okay, Yuri-chan. <laughs> <laughs> I like the teacher. Oh, okay. Hip hip hooray! <laughs> Usually with these kind of teachers, right? They're so exhausted. That... What what is what is wrong with you? Why? The sickly type, I don't understand. What's what's wrong with you? Sister. Blood related sister. She looks kind of dangerous. I, I I don't know. Her face kind of looks dangerous. Second best of the freshmen. Oh. Okay. I do appreciate the Onisama though. <laughs> blood related. Blood related. Bl bl hey, blood related. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> Incest in front of the entire school. Headline. And she's already taking pictures, but 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 why 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 you 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 can't do this, sister? You know the gene pool is gonna get all fucked up if you do this. Just classic generic anime fan service, or is there a deeper reason? Yeah, yeah. Why though in public? With yeah. Lovers, but what what about bound by a stronger bond? Naturally, that's an interesting logic. She is doing incredible mental gymnastics. Nobody does that. Which sub? Which country does that? Dude, her, her, she's really good at talking. The mental gymnastics is insane. Her ability to just deflect and be like, ah, it is what it is. Are you sure? Sweet talk. <laughs> she's tiny though, huh? I mean, little sister, what, do you, what am I supposed to do? Huge Brocon, huh? I love the fact that the entire, like, all these other kids from the school are just still watching this. If you look at her aura, it kind of looks like snow? Ice? I'm just gonna assume her power is ice. Yeah, you can see kind of like snowflakes here and there. 
What? Is that my roommate? I forgot about that. I forgot about You can't say I'm your servant. <laughs> this newspaper headline's gonna go crazy. This newspaper headline's gonna go crazy. It's already fucking printing. 72 hours? Just to be friends? Wasn't the wish to be friends? No, she fucking got on top of him and started fingering his belly button. She nutted by herself, and then Nikki was like, What the fuck are you doing? Let's just be friends. She's also kind of scary. <laughs> hey, maybe Stella and the sister will duel. Oh, the blade. Her blade is kind of small. Water versus fire. I like how she holds a reverse grip. That's always super edgy. Oh, we're doing this right now? Over you, bro. <laughs> I want to see a duel. Let's go. But... Ah, she's still growing! He should have said that. You pad yours, don't you? She's gonna lose it. Nah, Stella's gonna lose it first. <laughs> but water versus fire? Naturally, water should win. Unless... You, I mean, it's not just water, too. You can see the ice effects. Oh, they both got detention janitor duties. Maybe this starts off rough, but they'll get along really well. Advertising balloon. That's not even a fucking... That's not an insult. Zero feet above sea level. <laughs> that was a good one. Broken and flat water pillow. Over... <laughs> They're getting so descriptive with this. Oh, she's a roommate. We literally live together. Watch the little sister also come be a roommate. Um, like, yeah, like what? She can't even say anything. Or maybe there's something really personal? I mean, there was like a really deep ep uh, monologue that she did in the uh, intro scene when she was on the train, right? Treated as he never existed. For not having magical powers, I'm sure he was outcasted. Because you kind of saw in like the first episode, um, he was like the weakest or something. And there was kind of grandpa there too. But he probably comes from a family where they just kind of outcasted him. Here we go. Would he be open to tell her? I meant to ask you more indirectly, but I'm just gonna straight up just tell you, hey, line by line, were you treated as if you never existed? <laughs> That's as direct as it gets. Yeah, you wanna die a loser? Come on, fight back. Great grandpa. What are you doing out here, man? <laughs> Aren't you cold? Hmm. Use that as motivation. Remember how painful it feels to be looked down on and just work on yourself. Damn. What a motivational great-grandpa. Nah, brother! <laughs> the moon landing was fake! You wanna tell them the same thing? Foreshadowing? Maybe something like that will happen this season? Oh, they can kind of both relate like that. Hey, does that mean that there's other knights in the Kurugane household that might, like, I don't know, fight him in the future? Who was the school's director at that time? Because now, because we have a new one that kind of got shown, right? And she's changing up all the rules, but... Maybe it was just like a very convenient way, like a plot device for him to get looked down on and be called the worst one so that he can have, you know... It's like an underdog story, right? You, you are competitive, aren't you? You're not competitive? What, what? 
True. They're they're very similar. They got a lot in common. Even though they may no, even the background, like she comes from like a super noble household. He comes from a fucking lineage of heroes. And like the sister always cared about him. Even though he was treated so bad. Aww. I love how she's just telling him everything and he's like, damn, this is a Wendy's? <laughs> Did I fucking ask you for this? <laughs> Your life story, bro? Very devoted sister, but... Yeah, it's like, we just met! And she's just telling him his entire life story! <laughs> I knew someone like you a long time ago. I wonder how he comes into the story. You think he's actually a good person or maybe a bad guy? B big sister? They think of me as your big sister. Did I hear that right? What? 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 He wants to use his bathwater. I know it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> she getting the, the the fan server just comes out of fucking nowhere. Where did you even get this? Even in the first episode, she was just wearing full lingerie set. Like what? What? Watch her body. I mean, hey, she's making her moves. Right? She's trying to make sure that the little sister can't compete. She really likes the servant master play. Way more than I thought she would. Thank, thank you, cameraman. Yo, them titties are bouncing. The titty physics. There's two things the anime has to say budget on. It's for the cool sword fights and for the titty jiggles. <laughs> it's so awkward. Look at look at him jiggle, dude. <laughs> Brum. <laughs> Boing! Boing! <laughs> now, if they truly wanted to go all out, they should have them ass cheeks juggling. But unfortunately, usually with these fan service, it's only focused on the tits. I think the ass is better than the tits. In fact, everything that, like, like, tits is basically genetic. You can see with the little sister. She was not born with good genetics. What can she do about it? Nothing. But the ass is different. This is something everybody is on an equal field. Sure, you can say some are more voluptuous than others, but you can dedicate yourself in the gym, work them glutes out, and you can get a fucking dump truck ass by putting in work, and therefore, ass is better than tits. Why? Because it's a reflection of how much time you Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and yo, she's doing the thing that Darkness wouldn't do in, um, in fucking Konosuba. Remember, Kazuma said, wash my back. No, dry my back without a towel and it conveniently comes off. Not like it fucking matters right now. There's a, there's a ridiculous amount of fan service in this anime. The really annoying thing is if he turns around and she slaps him for turning. It's on fucking you! <laughs> like it fucking matters. There's like tiny little fucking noodle straps covering their nipples like that. Holy shit, that was a lot of fan service. My video might get demonetized, but it is what it is. We, we seem to have. A little bit more backstory with the main character, you know, he's from a hero, hero lineage, but everyone kind of looked down on him, except for the sister and the great-grandpa, which makes me think that you think that there are other people from the Kurogana household that might be fighting him in the future, maybe? I don't know. I hear that there's a lot of source material, but only season one got animated, which is unfortunate, but we'll see how it goes. Sister and Stella, will they actually fight? If it does happen, elemental advantage, ice versus, well, it's like water and ice versus fire. It's kind of both ways because water puts out fire, but if the fire was so strong it could vaporize the water, it could go both ways. And the other guy, the guy that was listening to Sister's talk, you think he's a good guy? In the beginning, it kind of seems like it because of his gentle nature, but maybe we're getting set up. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.